who most of us don't want to be out on the roads this weekend, really in any car. But what if you didn't have to drive? What if the car just drove itself? We've heard a lot about self-driving cars, but when will we actually see them out on the roads? Our Katie LaSalle knows just who to talk to for those answers. AAA automotive expert Scott McKinley joins us now to talk about the future of travel, specifically self-driving cars. So, Skylar, what's the deal here? When will we begin to see self-driving cars on Colorado roadways? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. I, I don't know if people know, but AAA actually operates the nation's largest testing facility for automated vehicles, self-driving cars. So we look into this a lot. To some extent, you're seeing these on our roads already, but it's really limited. These are vehicles operating in test conditions. Um, maybe some on our roadways, but mostly at labs like ours. We're a long way out from what you think of when you hear the words self-driving car, and that's no accident. Uh, many of the automakers have oversold their ability to bring one of these cars to market. In fact, almost all the automakers. Um, or they overmarket what they have now saying, well, it's almost self-driving. We've done survey data on that. It's creating a real trust problem because we're not seeing these cars. It's not the Jetsons with our flying cars, right? Per our survey data, 54% of Americans say they're afraid to ride in a self-driving vehicle. 32% say they're unsure. Only 14% of folks say they'd, they'd ride in one of these cars. And the big reason for that is they don't know what to think about them yet or who to trust. Makes sense. Definitely still a lot of unknowns. So what else did AAA survey uncover? There's some great news here if you're an automaker. Uh, drivers are telling us what they want. 80% say they want the current technologies in their vehicle like automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, they want those technologies to work. More than half, nearly 60% say they want these systems in their next car. Meanwhile, only 22% say they want a fully self-driving car. Um, the good news is, look, the technology is here in some cases. 96% of 2020 vehicle models have some quasi self-driving component, but the, they don't always work as promised, especially in real world scenarios. Um, the most interesting thing for me in the survey is that you think in COVID-19, uh, people would say, oh, I, I'd love a car that drives me so nobody else has to drive, drive me. It actually didn't move the needle at all. So uh, folks are so skeptical about self-driving cars that even a pandemic doesn't have them rushing to jump in one. Kind of makes sense for the time being. So what should Coloradans expect next? Yeah, I'm not a Luddite. Uh, fully self-driving technology is coming. It's a long way out. Um, so any automaker that tells you your car can already drive itself, they're lying to you. Be wary of things called autopilot or pro-pilot or self-driving mode. They don't work yet. Um, I hope that they continue to roll out this tech. I hope that they're honest with us. AAA is working with them on that. Uh, and we're working with our members and folks watching this to, to work with the automakers. So look, if you'd like to be involved or learn more, visit AAA.com and uh, we're going to keep doing this research.